Hello guys, I hope you're all doing great. It's me again, Kara. Another day in our real life that we're walking in a refinery. You know, some equipment, some special equipment that we see in the refinery and other locations is so important, especially for the oil and gas industry. As you see, we have a warm equipment. You can see front of you in the name of heater. And generally, in the refinery, we have a two types of the heater that we use it. The first one is the firebox heater. And the second one, that is, you can see from the view, is a cylindrical fire heater. That is mean this type of cylindrical fire heater. And generally, I want to talk about this heater. You know, because the heater is so important in our daily life in the refinery. If no have a heater, that means we can to increase the temperature of our material, for example, the crude and each material that we want to increase to a high temperature. Here is a different compared to the heat exchanger because the exchanger is so small and exchanger can help our process to get the highest temperature. You know, for example, today I'm talking about the crude oil. The crude we make we make processing for the crude to heating in the system and the name of a preheating system. You know, in the preheating system, we have a many types of the heat changer that all of them get a special temperature for us. The maximum temperature we got it from the heat exchanger is 190, approximately 200, 210 centigrade. And after that, we need to do that special equipment like a heater to increase our temperature from 200 centigrade to the desirable temperature, for example, 325 to 345 centigrade. This is the standard temperature for the atmospheric distillation in the refinery. For that reason, the heater is so important because heater have a power and have a best capacity to increase the temperature of the crude and the material that we want. We can to get the temperature from the exchanger. That's why I'm talking about the exchanger because sometimes some people think and ask why we don't use the heat exchanger instead of the heater because the exchanger is so small and couldn't get the desirable temperature the 125 centigrade and 345 centigrade. For that reason, the heater is so important in our process. Okay, so I want to talk about the, the practice of the hero. You know, the hero is the highest equipment in the refinery that we see. And the hero in the bottom of the hero is the name in the various box. In the bottom, we have a source of hearing by bearers and pilots. And another lines that we have in the steam line. To hearing of our Mario, we need a source to get the hair. Some sources we need, some sources we use in the refinery, for example, fill oil, we use to burn in to get the hearing of the Mario. And another type of the fuel we use is fuel gas. The fuel gas is so important, especially in the startup. And another thing is that we have the steam line. Steam line that will help to protect our hero in any emergency cases. For example, if you have a fire, if you have anything that is impossible, that is sober in the heater, we can use the steam. And the snapping steam we can use in the heater. So, okay, this is the bottom of the hero. And another part is, you know, the cylindrical part is the above all the barrenness that is, we can to say, we can call the radiation zone. 
why we say the radiation zone because the heat transfer to the fibers by one type of the transferring heat in and the name of radiation the radiation zone either it has a hard temperature and the heater and another part is above all the cylinder and the radiation zone we have a convection zone this is a point this is a section the first section that we send the crew to the convection zone because the temperature is so good approximately in near of the our temperature of the crude line in the convection zone we're hitting the crudes to a special temperature that is ready to the radiation zone because in the radiation zone our temperature is so high another section that we have we have a stack section and this stack in the one part of all the hero that's held with the all flow gas that's generated from the bearing of the fuel oil to the flow gas that's helped with the flow gas to go out naturally without using the the force draft and any types of the uh, any types of the devices to help the flow gas to go out the heater the stack that helps us to naturally to go out the flow gas this is a uh, generally information about the heater i hope this video is so powerful to you i hope to this is the first step and this is a, a best information to to help you to go to certain internet and the youtube to now more information about the heater